Okay, so rice pilaf is one of the easiest things that you could make. So what you need is a tablespoon of butter. And once that's melting in the pan, go ahead and take half of a white onion, diced up, throw that into, coat that with the butter, and then add a cup of white rice. Go ahead and give that a little stir. So now we're gonna go ahead and let the rice and the onion brown a little bit. And you let that happen by just letting it sit over a nice medium heat for a little bit. And uh, every now and then you'll stir it, but if you stir it too much, it won't brown, or it'll brown, but it'll take a long time. Um, but if you don't stir it at all, it'll burn. Stir it, let it sit, stir it, let it sit. So once you start to see some browning of the rice and the onions, and that has definitely happened here, you can go ahead and add your liquid. Now today I'm using chicken stock. Okay, so after you've added your two cups of chicken stock, go ahead and give it a little stir, just a teeny tiny one, and then you're done stirring, and add a half a teaspoon of salt. Go ahead and bring the heat up, because what you want to do now is bring everything to a boil. Okay, so once you have some boiling action going on, and that's exactly what we have, what you're going to do is put on the lid, turn down the heat so it just remains at a very low simmer, and set a timer for 20 minutes. Okay, so it's been 20 minutes and the rice is done. And we'll just take off the lid so you can see. It's perfect. It has taken in all of the water, or all of the liquid, and then now you just need to plate it up. And so what we'll do, as you can see how it's nice and perfect and it falls apart tastes good too so then you can finish this with a little, a little bit of parsley just to make it look colorful and beautiful and there you have it rice pilaf